from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his soldiers. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, cross of the rose. followed the man. They traveled to a town. As they walked, a leper came alongside them. The fishermen kept their distance, afraid of the leper's disease. But not the man. Instead, he touched the leper on the face and tenderly put his arm around the sick man's shoulders. The leper knelt and said, I know you can cleanse me if you are willing. The man was still for a moment, then said, I am. Be clean. The leper, who now could be called by some other name, forever lost his leprosy. The astonished fishermen knew this man was not like them. This man was a miracle man. But we don't grieve like those who have no hope. If you are a person who follows Jesus, who has given your life to him, no matter what happens in your life, no matter what tragedies, difficulties, struggles, hardships, weep not. No matter if and when you die, and all of us will die unless Jesus comes back first, but we have hope. We have hope in a resurrection. We have hope in a new day coming. We have hope in the kingdom of God on earth. No sickness, sorrow, sin, pain, tears, suffering, or death. Young man, I say unto thee, arise. Get up, arise. And yet, that one word holds the power, the key to all eternity. And you need to know that no matter who you are, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've done, 
If you trust in Jesus for your salvation, then you too and I, we will hear Jesus say those words to us. You cannot stop this message. You cannot stop this news. This guy is alive and Jesus is alive. And Jesus is alive and that changes everything and so we don't just hide in our Christian bubbles and we don't just keep the best news of the entire universe to ourselves. We have to tell other people. We're here today to witness your baptism, which of course means going from death to life, just like Jesus did. So, let me ask you some questions. It's the pop quiz. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you believe that He's the only way to be saved? I do. I believe He's the only one. Okay. And do you uh, surrender the rest of your life to following Him? Yes, I do. I surrender my life to Jesus. Awesome. All right, Gary. I baptize you in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. Lord God, we thank you, we praise you for Gary and for his commitment, his decision to follow you. I pray you would strengthen him and Nancy the rest of their lives uh, as they follow you, the ups and the downs. You are with them through it all. Give him strength and your power to be the person that you called him to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.